and welcome back to our English classes. You have only one week left before the summer holidays and this week we are going to have some revision and summer activities. Look at the picture. What can you see? Can you guess the topic? Great! Today we are going to speak about something that we studied at the very beginning of the school year. We are going to revise how to say where different things are located. Look at the picture and try to say the sentences. For example, in picture 1 I can see a cat in the bag. Now pause the video and try to say as many sentences as you can. Maybe not only about the cat, you can speak about the table or the bag or the glasses in the pictures. And let's move on and start our revision. Look at the picture. Who can you see in the picture? Great! This is Cookie the Cook. You know this cat very well. And he is sitting on the table. Very nice. Pause the video and read the sentence yourself. And let's try to discuss the second cat. Who is it? This is Peter the Pilot. Very nice. And now you need to tell me what Peter the Pilot is doing. So look at Peter the Pilot. What does he have in his hand, in his paw? He has a piece of pizza. So he is eating pizza where? In the, in the ship? In the car? In the plane, of course. This is Peter the Pilot and he is eating pizza in the plane. Now pause the video and try to read all the sentences yourself. And I have a question for you. Look at your table. What can you see on the table? For example, if I look at my table, I can say that I can see a laptop on the table and I can see a notebook on the table. What can you see on your table? Pause the video and write one sentence in your copybooks. And question number two, what can you cook in the kitchen? For example, I can cook, um, I can cook a pizza in the kitchen because I love pizza or I can cook pasta in the kitchen. And what can you cook in the kitchen? Pause the video and write one sentence in your copybooks. And let's move on. Now look at this picture. Who can you see in the picture? We don't have cats here anymore. Right, you can see a snail. Do you remember his name? His name is Dale. Let's read a sentence about Dale. Dale is tired. What is he doing? He is sleeping. Great! And now let's say where he is sleeping. He is sleeping under the tree. Very nice. Now let's look at this picture. What characters can you see now? Great! We can see Peter the Pilot again and we can see Buzz. Buzz and Peter the Pilot are having fun. What are they doing? Look at them. They are flying. Great! Above the, above the house or above the house and the tree. Now pause the video and read the sentences yourself. And I have a question for you. What can you find under your bed? For example, I can find a sock under my bed. And what can you find under your bed? Pause the video and write one sentence in your copybooks. It's time to talk about Agatha. Do you remember Agatha? Who is it? Agatha is a snake. Great. Can you see Agatha in the picture? Where is she? Look! Agatha is hiding behind the box. Great. So this is the box and this is Agatha behind the box. Great. Now you can see Mr. Walter. Mr. Walter can't see Agatha. What is he doing? Look at his paw. What is he, uh, what is he holding in his paw? This is tea. So he is drinking tea in front of the box. So Agatha is behind the box and Mr. Walter is in front of the box. That's why he cannot see Agatha. Wonderful. Let's move on. Do you remember my puppy? Do you remember his name? Great. This is Chivi. What is Chivi doing? Look, he's not playing. He's not eating. He is sitting. He's sitting next to the... What kind of furniture is it? Next to the chair? Next to the table? No, he's sitting next to the bed. Wonderful! But Chivi is not alone in the room. Do you remember who was with Chivi? Mr. Ozzy. So Mr. Ozzy is here too. Mr. Ozzy is our friend and he's an owl, right? And he is sitting between Chivi and the 
chair. Great. So look at uh, look at Mr. Ozzy. He's between Chibi and the chair. Wonderful. Uh, let's continue. Now Mr. Ozzy moved to a different room. Look. Now Mr. Ozzy, what is he doing? Look at the picture. Mr. Ozzy is singing a song where? Between two chairs. So we have two chairs and Mr. Ozzy is between the two chairs, if you look at the picture. Great. So let's try to remember, when we have the word between, we should have two objects. And if we have uh, two objects that are the same, for example, we have two chairs, we need to say them in plural. So Mr. Ozzy is between two chairs. Great. And I have a question for you. When you are at school, who do you usually sit next to? Who is your neighbor? So pause the video and write one sentence. For example, I sit next to Masha or I sit next to Peter or I sit next to Mr. Barista usually when I'm at school, when I work. Now look at the pictures once again. Can you describe them? For example, look at picture number one. Cookie the cook is sitting on the table. Now pause the video and try to say sentences about all the pictures that you can see on the slide. And it's time for the most difficult task ever, of course. Now you will have to write a little bit about our friend Mario. What is Mario doing and where is he? Write the sentences. Let's look at picture number one. Can you see Mario? Where is Mario? And what is Mario doing? Mario is cooking on the tree. So Mario is sitting on the tree and cooking. Great. Picture number two. Pause the video and write the sentence yourself and then we will check it together. So now Mario is dancing where? Next to the tree. Wonderful. Do you have the same? Picture number three. Again, pause the video and write the answer in your copybooks and then we will check it together. What is Mario doing? Mario is playing football where? Between the trees. So we can see two trees in the picture and Mario is playing football between the trees. Wonderful. The next picture. Pause the video and write the sentence. Now you need to write the whole sentence yourself. You do not have a, a model here, right? Once again, what is Mario doing and where is he doing this action? Mario is sleeping under the tree. So it's very hot inside his house. That's why he decided to go outside and sleep under the tree. Why not? It's summer. The next one. What is Mario doing? And where is he doing it? Mario is playing the guitar in front of the tree because we can see big, big, big Mario and we can see a small tree. That's why we can say that Mario is in front of the tree. And the last picture. Pause the video and write the sentence yourself and then we'll check. So what is Mario doing? Mario is flying a bird above the tree. Can you fly a bird? Great! I hope you have the same answers in your copybooks. Don't forget to take a picture and send it to your teacher. Uh, have a good day everyone, our lesson is over and I will talk to you soon. Goodbye!